The first bomb crater we saw, I didn't believe that that's what it was. It was the first time of seeing really obvious physical scars still left in the land and people living amongst that and living basically right on top, right around all these bomb craters. There was crater after crater, and I actually couldn't fathom the scope of the devastation and how many there were. Everywhere you look, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Khắp nơi trên đường mòn chi chít những hố bom, điều đó nói lên cái sự ác liệt của chiến tranh. Determined to stop the continuous flow of troops, weapons, and supplies on the trail, the U.S. conducted more than half a million bombing missions over the course of the war averaging out to about one strike mission every eight minutes. Approximately eight million tons of bombs were dropped over Southeast Asia, with three million tons dropped directly on Laos, making it the most heavily bombed country on the planet. Nearly one third of those bombs failed to detonate upon impact, leaving approximately 25% of the region littered with unexploded ordinances, also known as UXOs. Since the end of the Vietnam War in 1975, it's estimated that in Vietnam and Laos, more than 60,000 people have been killed or injured by UXOs. Over the past 40 plus years, organized bomb removal teams have been scouring the land, carefully extracting the bombs one at a time and disposing of them using controlled explosions. In addition to bomb removal, governments are working to educate locals about UXOs. Especially at risk are villagers who earn a living by recycling the scrap metal and children who think the bombs are balls or toys. At the current pace of UXO removal, it'll be more than 100 years before all of the bombs in the region have been successfully cleared. <laughs> 